Okay, this is going to be a review of the Tank TK568 uh, Q5 flashlight. Actually, it's Cree XRE uh, flashlight. This is a single AA flashlight. has an aluminum reflector, a glass lens. It's five modes. So you have your high, medium, low, strobe, and SOS. I got this one from, I think it's lighttaki.com. And so far, this is the cheapest I found it is there. It's like twelve fifty with free shipping. Actually, I think it went up to like thirteen something. But there's a couple of other sites I've seen it for like fifteen. Um, so again, Tank 007, and again, it's the TK568. It's rated about one hundred and sixty lumens if you use the uh, fourteen five hundred batteries, three point seven volt rechargeables, which is what I have in here now. This is a really well-made flashlight. If you're looking for uh, just a simple AA flashlight that takes regular batteries, and it will also take the uh, again the 3.7 volt rechargeables, the 14500s. This is a real good one to get for a good price. What I like about this one is it has excellent modes. The switch on this is probably one of the best I've ever seen. This is a real, really solid clicky switch on here. It's uh, it's a reverse clicky. So I turn it on and then you stroke, go down through the modes. And you can see it's very bright. Uh, we'll do some outside shots as usual with this. There's low, there's a nice low moonlight mode. Uh, it's even lower with a AA battery, regular rechargeable, or um, you know, 1.5 volt battery. And then uh, you know, use your strobe and SOS. All right, so this is a very good light just to shine it around here. Nice focus beam, almost perfect on the beam. There's like one ring about halfway around as far as the, you can see it there, the artifacts. But uh, really good light. If you're looking for something more of a thrower, thrower on this, uh, a thrower light, the other one I recommend, I uh, did a review on the Xeno, had a very wide floody beam. And this has a good surrounding corona of light also, which does light up a good area. It's it's very bright, with especially with the, the uh, 14500 and this will give you a good 150 to 180 foot effective range so again for a, a single AA light a very good one and again if you need something that's a little more of a focus beam that will you know again be effective to within 150 180 feet this would be a good choice to get for a nice uh, low price really and again there's your that's your medium there's the low and again strobe and SOS which some people don't like they don't personally bother me you just have to get used to the modes so that's that's the light with a um, 14500 let me show you what it looks like with a lithium ion battery alright so I'm going to swap out the battery here just so everyone can see what I'm actually doing alright so here is the my favorite trust fire 14500 batteries uh, I also use the same thing with the 18650s is trust fire mode with the flame get those from deal extreme uh, I'm just gonna put in energizer lithium it's not fully full power but it's probably 1.7 volts still 1.76 1 1.65 something like that uh, I have some lithium grease on here which is why that's white and this has, does have good o-ring seals, seals I think it's IPX8 is the waterproof standard this thing is actually listed as being bomb proof as well uh, it's very well made because uh, this is the only part that opens if you you really can't modify this flashlight so this is all one unit it's all solid that's why it's listed as being bomb proof um, because it's just a solid piece it does have the serial number there and you can see tank 007 so really really good let's see all right, that's there's high with the um, lithium battery. All right, so again, about half the voltage, and your medium and your low. So as you can see, let me turn off the headlamp here. There's low, the moonlight mode. Pretty dim, you know, good for the movies, walking around at night, don't want to wake someone up. All right. And strobe, SOS. 
fairly decent SOS and then back to high. Alright, just a momentary touch of the switch get you the different modes and even with a uh, lithium battery or just a standard energizer Duracell 1.5 volt you will get good light out of this probably 80 lumens 90 lumens I estimate with a uh, regular uh, flashlight battery regular 1.5 volt as you can see pretty bright definitely does a nice job but I do like these lights with the uh, high voltage battery because that gives you the the full size power the power of a full size light in, in a compact light so if you're looking for something that's a, got a good spot not a pinpoint spot of a light but one that has a good um, as you can see central beam that's a nice compact single AA light that'll take either a standard battery or the 14500s and this would be a great choice one of my favorite lights overall very solid and again has the best clicky switch let me turn on the headlamp here it's got the most solid switch I think I've ever felt very solid definitely well made you hear that's a solid click on there really good I have actually have like two or three of these and I ended, ended up selling one to my friend who wanted one so again glass reflector comes with the lanyard um, I don't think it comes to anything else for the twelve dollars thirteen dollars this tank 007 on it um, but you can see it's really well made and it will tail stand this does stick out just a little bit six out just slightly so it it's not exactly hundred percent steady on the tail standing see so it will wobble just a little bit but it does stand it stays as you can see and this table's on a little bit of an angle too all right so I'm gonna go outside as usual and we'll do some uh, night beam shots with the uh, other battery the truss fire there and uh, see what it does out there in the back to give you a good idea of the beam Okay, so we're out here in the backyard again, and we're going to do the night beam shots of the Tank 007 TK568 flashlight. So that's actually medium. There it is on low. I click through the modes, and there is your high with the 14500 battery. So again, the fence down there is exactly 75 feet. Make sure, let me go back just a little more here. At 75 feet distance and just shining around a little bit. You can see that it is a more concentrated hot spot in the middle. The beam is almost perfect. There is one little concentric ring about halfway out, but it's not really detracting from the beam focus at all. And just to show you a little bit, can we see the, this is, yeah, you can see a little bit of the beam going there. Shine it up high so I don't disturb the neighbors hitting the tree there. Hmm, not really showing up on this camera, but it is putting out a little bit of a little bit of the uh, beam you can see in the, in the dust there. All right. So again, good spe uh, spot beam. This is just there's no there's no um, it doesn't have a convex lens either. That's just the actual power of the light. Pretty good. Again, it will go much further. See it down there hitting the. That's two or three houses down. That one down there. The light does shine further. And. Uh, very nice light. If you need something that's a little more of a spotlight, and shine it over here. You can see it's lighting up the fence pretty good there. The uh, surrounding corona does hit the top of the telephone pole there. Tree behind me, which is about 100 feet away, 80, maybe 80, 90 feet away. All right, and back to the telephone pole down here, backyard. All right, so. I'll just show you now. This is the uh, switch the hands here. I'm going to put the TK568 in the left hand, and uh, just to show you the difference between that and the Zeno, uh, the Zeno light. That's the 430 lumens on the Zeno. So you can see the Zeno really lights up a wide area, and if I turn it off and just leave the tank, see a nice focus beam, powerful, um, but the the Xeno light does put out much, much more light overall. But if you look at the fence, you can see the Xeno light is uh, a much, you know, the light is so large, you almost can't even see where the, the beam center ends and begins and the surrounding light goes. That's because this has an orange peel reflector. 
the Zeno on the right, whereas the tank is a smooth aluminum reflector. They're both aluminum reflectors. So again, we'll hit the tree and bring it down. The Zeno light is not full power, but um, I don't want to show you a power comparison because they're just two different lights. I mean, overall, this is 430 lumens to Zeno, so there's really no comparison in terms of overall output. Whereas the uh, the tank, I think, is rated at 150 to 160 lumens. So, you know, out the front is probably 110, 120. But just to give you, so you can see, if you're thinking about purchasing a nice AA light with a good focus beam, good modes, um, that's very well made. And like I said, probably has the best clicky switch of any light I have. And I have a whole bunch of them. i got like four of them on me right now. I have uh, this old Rama, older Ramason here as well. I really love this one. This is a, um, I can move the strong clip it has. Actually, this is an RCR5. This thing is also very bright. Again, a little more of a wider beam. Um, <clears throat> 280 lumens, this one's rated at. As you can see, it really does throw out the light. And there's also a 14500 battery in this one also. So I'll just show you a little bit of what this this one can do here. Turn off the uh, tank. This is the Robinson here, and I got this one from C and Quality Goods for about thirteen, actually twelve fifty. Three modes: high, low, strobe, and it's a tactical switch. So it's not a reverse clicky; it's a forward clicky. So you can just turn it on, turn it off, change your modes. It'll have to click it. Then if you want to leave it on, you click it, and it'll stay on. All right. Very bright. I'll do a, a review on this one another time. And then I do have this other. All right, and then there's this one here. This is a Trustfire RA, R5A3. This is a Q5 emitter also. And um, it's a, basically the same body design as the uh, the one I just showed you, different bezel. Uh, it's got the glow and dark O-ring. They both have glass lenses and aluminum reflectors, smooth reflectors. This has got a glow-in-the-dark tail cap, uh, as you can see. This one also has a real nice switch on it. The switch on this one is probably the next best one to the tank. Uh, and this is also very bright, as you can see. The overall, the tank does have the best switch of any of them I've ever encountered. So again, high, goes to medium, to low, good moonlight mode, even with the 14500, well, some say it's not a true moonlight mode, but hey, if I'm in a movie theater or I'm in a dark room and I don't want to wake anybody up, that's more than enough to see what I'm doing. Um, more of a focus beam on this one, very smooth reflector. And a uh, Q4 emitter on this one, actually. It's a Q4, but uh, you can see for a Q4, it does a real nice job. It does uh, definitely throw some excellent light. Really love this one. Nice, small size. Um, I can hold it in my hand there. Now, let me turn it off. And we'll turn on the overhead light here. So you can see the size in the hand. All right. Pretty good size, compact, comfortable grip. A little bit of indentation here, and it's it's a little bit of a, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of, you know, curved. You can also buy an extension tube for this one also, I forgot to mention. So you could buy the extension tube for a couple of dollars and... Uh, It'll, you can put two regular AA batteries in here, and that'll give you three volts, almost as bright as with the uh, 14500. That's another good feature. The extension tube on Litaki is like uh, $2 or something. But where did I got it from another website? I think I got this one. I got one from Deal Extreme also, and I think Deal Extreme it came with it. But don't quote me on that, because I did look at a whole bunch of different sites, so I don't recall... If it was light hockey that it came with, or uh, actually, no, CN Quality Goods. That's where I originally got this one from, CN Quality. So, very good light, though. Excellent, well made. I said, real solid. And uh, there you go. Light Taki TK568. If you're looking for a good AA pocket light that's versatile with the batteries, and you can also buy the extension tube, turn it into a longer. I should have brought the extension tube down. I actually forgot all about it. Uh, but it's about, uh, you know, the length of another battery, so it'll just about add maybe a couple of inches or, you know, the length. it's exactly the length of another AA battery.
and that'll add the, the length to it. This way, if you don't want to mess with 14500 batteries, but you want to be able to take advantage of the um, voltage capacity, the light up to 4.2 volts, I think, then that's another way you can do it. And you can throw a couple of lithium ions in there at 1.7, 1.8 volts, and that'll bring you almost the exact voltage of a uh, 14500 battery. So, that's it for this one.